Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing my Rainbow Crate for the month of June, I'm pretty sure. I'm very excited. I love Rainbow Crate. We get a, we get two queer bucks in this month uh, in each box. And we also get a um, monthly magnet and a random item that they choose. I feel like this box is bigger than normal. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's the same, but let's go ahead and open this box up. I'm so excited. Um, I know I'm excited for the indie book for this month. The traditionally published book I don't really care for, but the indie one I'm very excited for. So here it is, the box. So yeah, I think this was a bigger box for this. I think this might be a blanket in here. It's like a pretty big item. So but first I'm gonna grab like the folder cards and stuff like that. So here is like an art print that comes in every month. And the art print is inspired by um, the traditionally published book, which is the first bright thing. Um, so it's very pretty. And it has like the rest of the spoilers on the back. And this month theme was a spark of magic. And then we always get like a little newsletter thing with some information and stuff like that. So that's very exciting. Okay. So now let's actually open this item up. So yeah, I'm mean, already seeing some square bugs on here. So I think it is a, a little like a blanket. So I'm sure it is, but I just can't seem to figure out how to open it. So yeah, here is the blanket. It's very very soft, and I really love it. Um, it's summer though, so that's you know. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's a pretty nice size blanket here. I'm gonna insert a clip so you guys can see it better, but I just see a whole bunch of little bugs and stuff. I don't really, let me see. So yeah, they have um, Bedazzled, The Name Bear, Anna and Santi were here, Out There, Summer Sun, The Darkness Outside of Us, like some of my favorite queer books, The Sun Bear Trials. I love that book. So yeah, it's just like a library with some queer book content, so I love that and I love this item. So I'm very, very happy with this. I really loved it. I love it. So, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but, um, on here it says, we know it's not winter right now, but we couldn't resist getting cozy for our three-year anniversary. And the art was by Cricket Quillick. Something like that. <laughs> so, yeah, I love that, um, rainbow bookshelf blanket. It's beautiful. Um, so, yeah, I'm really happy with that. All right. And then... The next thing we have is our monthly magnet that we get every single month. So here it is. I have no idea what it's inspired by. So our collectible magnet features Cameron, Zeon, and Alia from Cameron Battle and the Hidden, K Hidden Kingdoms by Jeremiah J. Perry. Designed by Jamie Lynn London. Probably mispronounced that. But yeah, that is the main monthly magnet for this month. So that's cool. And now we have our two books here. So if you don't know, each month we get a indie published book and a traditionally published book. Uh, for the traditionally published book, um, all they do is just redesign the book dust jacket and the indie one, they do like the spray edges and everything else to it. So yeah, so the, the first one we're gonna do is the traditionally published one, just cause it's more simple and kind of lame, but I still love it. So we have a signed book plate there, so that's always nice to receive. And I love this redesigned cover because the traditional cover, which I'm gonna put right here, the original cover is kind of lame. In my opinion, it's very simple and boring. Um, like I would never pick this cover up, but this right here, yeah, this is gorgeous. So here is this month's traditionally published book, and it is The First Bright Thing by J.R. Dawson. This is beautiful. I love this. It has some nice foaming. It's some gloss texture. This is beautiful. And then we have the spine there. And here is the back side. And on the back, we have a author letter on the back there. So yeah. All right, and of course, every single month, they always add the 
like in the in the, in the flats there they had these like um nutrition facts which are so nice like the pages during your video two representation in this book sapphic um one thousand five hundred percent so this is a sapphic book i mean yeah like so i'm excited to read it now just because of this cover so so nice gay 10 percent jewish 80 percent black 50 percent disability rep 35%. The genre for this is urban historical f fantasy. Um, and the plot, circus, affix, um, established relationship, time travel, escaping manipulative access, demographics, um, adult, 125G, and young adult zero. So I think this is an adult book. So interesting. But yeah, and then we have the, they do include the, um, original cover underneath, as you can see, it's just, it's so simple and boring. It looks better in person though, I will say that, but I do prefer this a lot more. This is so beautiful, so I love this right here. So yeah, that's the traditionally published book, and now I'm going to go on to the indie book here. So I'm very excited. I was, once uh, they announced this for the book, um, that was going to be for this month i was so excited but we have a signed book plate here and it's beautiful and um, i love that book plate it's so gorgeous and then we have the book here oh i'm so excited so this month's indie published book is prince of the sorrows and this is book one and look at this cover <sighs> just look at it it's so beautiful i love it so much it's so stunning this redesign cover is gorgeous. Oh, I'm so happy with it. Um, and then we have the spine there. And then here is the back cover right there. Hopefully you guys can see that. So that's really nice. So this month we just had these um, red gilded edges, which I'm usually not a fan of gilded edges, but I did will say this goes pretty well with the cover and with the book. But yeah it is very pretty but normally i don't prefer gilt gilted edges so let's go ahead and take off the dust jacket here and we have ooh, we have such a beautiful naked heart back here look how stunning this folding is on the front cover it's a nice light blue folding and then we have the spine there i love the spine the spine looks really good and then here is the back Falling. and again it's just absolutely gorgeous so i'm really happy with the falling on the naked heart pack and then we have the inner papers here which is just art from the original um published cover and it's beautiful and it's the same on the back here but yeah i'm really glad they um, put the original cover on the end papers because it's also very very beautiful and yeah also such a beautiful book and i'm very happy with it so yeah it does come with a um author letter bound into the book which is very very nice okay so i was i will open the pages here and i was just flipping through them and it seemed you probably won't be able to tell but some of the red gilded edges is coming off and they're like on my fingers now so like that sucks really sucks but it's whatever i guess but yeah they're like my fingers are all silvery now i don't know if you'll be able to tell but damn anyways anyways that is this month's rainbow crate june box let me know your thoughts of these two books and the items for this month i'm very happy i love everything i love the indie book i love the traditionally published book the blanket is amazing and the magnet is always fun and nice so overall i'm happy and i can't wait for the next month's box as well anyway thank you guys for watching make sure to like comment below subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys